Welcome to IT Boost YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to show how to make a classic window frame in Revit. I have opened my Revit. Under the families, first I will create a family. Under the families, I will click new and I will select imperial. That's up to you. If you want, you can go to metric or imperial. So in my case, I will select English imperial and I have we will select generic model wall based we have to select generic model wall based because the window will be in the wall so the window frame the window frame uh, right will be the in the wall so we have to select generic model wall based and I'll press open so here this is the reference level so in the reference level you can see the placement side right and in the elevation you have back side left side right side placement side i will go to the placement side so first we have to create some reference planes so i'll click reference plane i will take a line and i will uh, draw horizontally two reference planes and vertically to right now we have to make it some parametric constraint so in order to do that one I will click align dimension and I'll click this here and here and here and we have to make this one equal so click this EQ so it will become equal this right again another Align dimension. I'll select the both and in the bottom. And I'll take the modify tool and click the dimension and I'll create a label. Create parameter. So I'll give the name trim width. Trim width and make it instant a parameter. Instant a parameter because the parameter it should be able to fit for any size of window. At any size of multiple windows uh, that's why uh, I'm making this one instant uh, parameter so selected instant parameter and okay after that again align dimension here this is the reference level from the reference level here one again another one from here to here another one and I'll select this dimension and create parameter. I will say sill height, sill height, PhD, sill height, and this one is trim height. Sill height also we had to make it in, if you forgot to make it instant parameter here, I'll select the parameter and click here instant parameter. Right. I forgot that one. Now I'll select this one create parameter I will say trim height trim height and make it instant and ok right now I will go to create here mostly I am going to use sweep here I will click the sweep solid sweep and click sketch path or oh, before that we have to set the plane so we are going to, uh, if you uh, sketch a path, it will be uh, sketched in the middle of the wall. Here this is the wall face, the placement side, this is the wall face. So I will set the work plane, click set work plane, pick plane and press OK and select a wall. Now carefully, don't draw this line. Check, um, uh, carefully watch, you can't draw this line, you have to go to modify sweep. Here you have to click sketch path and I will take a line and from here I will draw right to that point from here to this point from here this point and process. Now we have to lock these references that is important because when you change the window size when you change the window size the window frame size also change accordingly. 
So I'll select this line first and I'll just move outside or inside and move it back and click lock. Again this one also move out upside or downside and move it to the same place lock. Right and this one also move inside and bring it up and click lock. Same like with the this one also we have to lock it. So take the alignment tool, select this reference plane and this point and lock it. Again this reference plane and this one lock it. Uh, right now we have mostly uh, done the sweep path. Click the sweep path. Now click edit profile. We have to create a profile. Click edit profile. So in order to edit the sketch profile you have to go to the flow plan reference level. So select here flow plan reference plane and open view. Right here I will take a rectangle. Simply I'll draw a rectangle around yeah uh, 10 inch 10 inch in height 3 inch here. We'll make it 10 inch and 3 inch. Now we will do some modifications here. So here I will check a line tool and that's up to you. The design is up to you. Now I'll select filler touch and click the radius. I will give a radius 1 inch. We'll see 1 inch. If it is too much, we can reduce the 1 inch. Right. I'll make it 1 inch, it will be fine. Right, that's fine. Now we will delete this, these lines. Oh, we have to trim or we have to split. We will trim that one, right. We will send closed one now. So I'll use trim. Right. Now you can finish uh, that one and click again. Now we finish the profile. Now again click the sweep finish. So it will be like this here both sides. You can go to 3D view here. Default 3D view. Or orbit to the side here. This is your trim. And you can make it shaded. So you clearly you can see how it's made. Right. Now again I'll go to the placement side. Right. I will select this one and I will name this reference plane as bottom. Again I will use the sweep and click set work plane and here I will select the work plane as bottom. And press OK. So in order to do that one, in the bottom plane, we have to go to the flow plan reference level open view. Right. Now here I will check a line tool. Here I will check uh, for around yeah, 6 inch. Right here. Yeah. Oh. Ah, that is a mistake I made it. I will undo that one. Because we set the plane. Right? This will happen here. Place line. So I undo that one. You have to go to not to draw from the place line. Modify sweep. Sketch path. We have to click sketch path. And from there you have to select the line. And I will select 6 inches. And here. And here. Right. Here also we have to lock this one. So select that one and move it and get it back. Lock this one. Move it inside and get it back. Lock this one. Select this one. Move it inside and go back. It's locked. Yeah. Uh, I think we can. We have to lock with the points. Right. It's locked. Now here take the alignment. Alignment. So here see when you select the alignment in the middle reference plane is selecting. Press the tab key in your keyboard so it will be tab here. Press the tab key select this one and click the point. Lock with this one. 
again press the tab key until you get this reference plane and this point lock it for additionally you can make this one also align dimension again press the tab key from here to here lock that one also where are that one here lock that one so so it's double safe right now go to sweep and finish the path now click edit profile in order to edit profile we have to go to the placement side open view i'll take a line tool from here totally i will take it uh, one foot six inches that's up to you make a design however you want four inch again another four inch bring it here the pattern is up to you here i will select fill attach and here also i'll give a radius one inch but it's too big we can reduce the size here also if you want you can do some optional things right is uh i'll try to reduce the size okay so that will be fine a little bit more yeah now click finish again finish this way so you have this one uh go to your 3d view here this one same like you can put on the top also so go to the placement side go to create reference plane uh just uh from to this level i name that one as top same like i will uh, it's not named again uh top the center right again i'll go to create sweep set the work plane select the top and press okay to so go to the reference plane open view here not to take the lines from here go to modify sweep sketch path sketch path take the line you can draw it little bit extend that's up to you in the same size i will draw in the same size okay here also we have to lock this references move inside and bring it back and lock it move inside and bring it back and lock it this one yeah, i can't i think here lock it mm, and again take the alignment press the tab key to select this reference again tap this and this additionally give the uh, align dimension showing nine inches okay i lock that one no problem right now finish the sketch path now click the edit profile go to the placement side you can draw a same as or different one also i will take the line tool i will go a little bit uh, one foot six inches or one foot ten inches a different one from the bottom oh, i'll make it like it's a simple one and oh i'll take filler touch radius 
I think we can give a little bit more three inches. Yeah. Right, click finish. Click finish. Now go to your 3D view. Here we have. Now here we have a small gap for that one also. We can fill it out. So what I do, I'll go to create simply extrusion. Uh, set up plane, set up a plane, pick plane, OK. So I'll select this top plane. Yeah. I'll take a rectangle. You feel difficult you can make it wireframe so I will make it wireframe so we can see the edges so rectangle I oh, will start from this side rectangle so here we can clearly see this one uh, we can finish it and that is I will give minus uh, minus 6 inch we will try minus 6 inch yeah. Okay. So same like here also. Click create extrusion. Set a plane. Pick a plane. Select this one. A rectangle. Finish it off and make it minus minus six inch. No, sorry, something, yeah, minus 6 inch, don't adjust it, just a little bit bigger, adjust it to this one, okay, uh, yeah, this one also we have to lock here, I'll move this one and lock it down. Uh, upper one, uh, it's locked. Lock that one. This one also. Lock it. Lock it. Lock it all the four, four side better to lock it all the four side. This also, then we are confirm. It's already locked, right? Bottom one is already locked, right? Now I'll make it again shaded. Now we have to join all these things. So click join, check the multiple join and carefully select all these things one by one. So there are right and present. Now it's get join. Right. Now finish the uh, I forgot to do I didn't do that one because because before joining I have to, yeah. So again, I'll click join, multiple join, select this one, select this one, and enter. I'll cancel that one. I'll go again to wireframe, small mistake happened, right. Yeah, the here the extrusion we made it up by frame uh, shaded I think it's okay yeah 
so I will click join select this one select this one others are selected press enter modify extrusion is coming right anyhow it's join I think so right now I will we can assign material I'll select this one material click here I'll click a material create new material I will rename that windows frame or whatever you want right so I'll click windows frame I'll open the material access browser uh, whatever we want we can give roofing site work wood what will give a wood or oh. will give for masonry or oh. can use some stone also right uh, I'll select this masonry CMU. I'll double click and see this one. Oh, it's up to you. The material is up to you. Right. I'll select this one and apply. Okay. The material is up to you. So if it is when you select this one also, the material is coming, right? Because it's we confirm that it's joined Windows frame. Right. Now we can save this one. I'll save file save as family I will save that in my desktop I will say window frame and I'll click save now I'll close everything under the models I'll click new I'll select imperial architecture template open I'll click a wall I'll select a generic 4 inch brick and I'll give the wall height 10 feet and simply I will draw a rectangle now I will place a simple window I'll click uh, windows so here I'll select 36 by 72 if you want you can make a duplicate I'll click edit type I'll give a name duplicate the same money window but I'll give the both height equal we can change it that's not a problem six feet six feet with also six feet this is also six feet and okay and I place this one here now go to your 3d view here again level one Click component load families. I have saved that one in my desktop. Window frame open place here. Now go to 3D view. Oh, why it's uh, for me? Go to reference level. Yeah, place it outside wall base. No, here now go to your 3D view. Now go to your south elevation where you place. Now you can adjust that one. Right. Now you can select that one and you can change the width both sides. Right. Right. Now what I do, I am going to set this to this window. So I will go to modify align I'll select this inner line and this one so that will be a line lock that one same like here this inner line and this one it's locked that one this one and this one but that one is not moved right lock that one here right lock that one now go to your 3d view here you have a nice uh, window uh, frame classic frame 
you can design up to your own also i'll make it realistic so you can see the material also yeah now the thing is when you change i'll select a window and when you change the window size according to that the frame also that adjusted that's why we made it instant uh, constraint and we lock the references right okay so whatever we chain that will be adjusted according to uh, that window this is a different type of window so we can't make it yeah so in default i made uh, my window So try this one. I hope you enjoyed the video and learn how to make classic window frames in Revit. If you didn't subscribe our channel, please subscribe our channel. If you have any questions, comment in the comment box.